So let's watch another part of Zootopia together, one of my favorite animated movies. So in this lesson, we will help you understand English dialogues without any subtitles. So guys, let's watch it together and don't forget to watch the whole three stages, okay? So we will help you learn some grammar points, some useful vocabularies and idioms. So let's do it together. Hey, Officer Hops, you ready to make the world a better place? <laughs> a ten hut. All right, all right, everybody sit. I've got three items on the docket. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine, happy birthday. Number two, there are some new recruits with us I should introduce, but I'm not going to because I don't care. <laughs> Hey, Officer Hops, you ready to make the world a better place? So guys, when speaking informally, it's very common for natives to remove the auxiliary verb are in questions. So instead of saying, are you ready to make the world a better place? We usually say, ready to make the world a better place? So we remove the auxiliary verb. So we also do this with other auxiliary verbs. For example, do you think? You think? Is he coming? He coming? Have you seen it? You seen it? Do you play football? You play football? You ready to make the world a better place? You ready to make the world a better place? <laughs> a ten hut. Ten hut. A ten hut is an American military term that means attention. It was shortened from a ten hut and came into use because it's easier to say at full short than attention. A ten hut. <laughs> a ten hut. <laughs> Everybody sit. I've got three items on the docket. Docket. Docket is a list of all the things that someone has to deal with or discuss. For example, what's on the docket for tomorrow's meeting? Item. Item, guys, is something that is a part of list or a group of things. For example, the restaurant has a long menu of about 50 items. I've got three items on the docket. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Acknowledge. Actually, if people acknowledge something, they accept, recognize how good or important it is. For example, the Brazilian coach acknowledged the talent of his players. I've got news for you, Mom. I'm, I'm not visiting Dad in jail anymore. <gasps> no, I've, I've had it. I really have. You know, I'm down there every single day. I'm trying to do what I can to get this company back on track, and he barely even acknowledges me. That is disgusting. Talk to your father. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. There's a nice idiom connected to this lesson, and that's the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is an obvious and clear problem that no one wants to discuss. For example, I don't want to ask the question, but it's the big elephant in the room, which means it's a clear and obvious problem that we should not ignore. Are we going to talk about it? What? The elephant in the room. What elephant? I guess not then. You're referring to today. Yeah, what's 
have to deal with today. We all made mistakes. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Listen, lady, don't try any mind games. Batman is a permanent bat chalor. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. So guys, here let's speak about connected speech. How natives cut and connect their words together. So how do you say this? Elephant in the room? But listen to how he said it. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. So he didn't say elephant in, he said elephant in. Elephant in. When we have the letters anti together, natives drop the T sound. For example, internet, international, interesting, I can't eat that. So we drop the T. That's a very important part of pronunciation. That was amazing. Well. I can't even send back soup. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a real thing. Anyone can get ordained on the internet and perform like weddings and stuff. You guys are going to come and visit me, right? Yes. You know, in six months, the statute of limitations runs out and I can travel internationally again. <laughs> Francine. Happy birthday. Number two. There are some new recruits with us I should introduce. Recruit. Recruit is a new member of an organization, especially the army. For example, raw recruits, which means completely new soldiers, were trained for six months and then sent to the war front. Recruit. Introduce. If you introduce someone to something, you cause them to learn about it or experience it for the first time. For example, he introduced us to the delights of natural food. But I'm not going to because I don't care. <laughs> Officer Hops, you ready to make the world a better place? <laughs> a ten hut. All right, all right. Everybody sit. I've got three items on the docket. First, we need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine. Happy birthday. Number two. There are some new recruits with us I should introduce, but I'm not going to because I don't care. Oh yeah, I hope you have enjoyed learning English with us. Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you wouldn't miss the new lessons. We have some new lessons on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays so please don't miss them. And you can always get your free English course at EnglishVidCourses.com. Good luck!